Hey guys! Welcome to the Manchester United News Channel. If you love your heart team subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news, leave a like, and share, you are very important to the growth of the channel. Let's go to the video. Cody, Jürgen once described you as the oldest 24-year-old he knows because of your maturity. Are you feeling even older now considering all the academy kids? <laughs> yes, maybe I'm a little bit older now, but uh, yeah. Uh, he described me like that, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice compliment. Amazing feeling to see all these youngsters coming through. Does it remind you of when you were also around that age trying to break into the first team? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's amazing to see. You know, you see a lot of similarities in behavior and curiosity, like, yeah, I don't know, just asking, observing things and at the end, when you come on the pitch, maybe nervous, but you just give it your all. And yeah, i just really happy to see them all doing really well, you know. From the outside, it seems like something really special is happening at Liverpool. It feels magical. You're on the inside. Yeah. Tell us what the feeling is like for you guys. When the season started and we did well at the beginning, we already felt that this could be a special season. So we said to each other uh, that we just have to don't look ahead, but just keep focused, keep working really hard and do what we always do. And you know, it's gonna be tough sometimes. We're gonna get some obstacles. We have them now with the injuries, but yeah, we, we try to stick together. You said while it's special, it's all about focus. Yeah. Very business-like still. Yeah. That seems to sum up the reaction of the squad as well when Jurgen Klopp said he would be stepping away. Obviously, initially, there's the, <gasps> yes. the shock. Yeah. There's the, what does this mean? There's the sadness. There's the understanding of his decision. But then you guys just get straight down to work. He just yeah, called us all together and, and, and told us he, he was leaving at, at the end of the season. It, it's a shock moment. It's, it's normal. It's human to, to have that feeling. But... Yeah, we know as well that we had to play, I think, that weekend or a few days after. and um, So we didn't really have a choice. But I think it's also the mentality of, of the manager, of the team, that we yeah, went back straight to business. Because we know we, we, had, we were in a good moment and everybody was so excited to just keep on playing their game and try to win every game. And... Uh, yeah, I think the mentality in the team is, is, is like that and we are, yeah, we have to be focused to win games and that's what we are at the moment. There's also that element because he's given so much to the club that you guys want to give him the best send-off possible. Yeah. Started very well with the Carabao Cup. Yes. I want to touch on a few things. How amazing was it to hear the fans singing Ale 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 during the extra time because that was such a pivotal moment and it felt like that chant and, and the crowd just pushed you guys? Yeah, I think I think the fans were amazing during the final. They're always amazing, but they're, uh, during the final they were there. When it was hard, because extra time is, is hard, uh, both teams are tired. Uh, you're trying to find energy. I, I was not on the pitch at the moment, but you're trying to find energy from some places which you don't have any left. But yeah, then you hear the fans. Uh, singing and doing their things uh, I think it just gives you energy by themselves by itself so yeah it, it, I think it got us through as well and then uh, yeah we scored the winner and then after we also sang you never walk alone with them those are really special moments then with the FA Cup a quarterfinal to look forward to as yeah. well against Manchester United which is interesting because they were a team that were also very interested in signing you. How close or not were you to ever joining them and why was your decision Liverpool? Uh, yeah, I think it was the summer before that I was in contact with the, with the club and uh, spoke to the manager from them as well. Obviously, he, he's Dutch, so uh, yeah, spoke to him as well. But um, yeah, at the, at the end it didn't went through. And yeah, that's that's just it. And then in the in the in the winter came Liverpool came and uh, yeah, best decision for me. Sometimes things work out for the best. Yes, it, it, they do. 
And then in terms of the squad at the moment, you say Liverpool are in a good moment. But that's because Liverpool are so good at dealing with setbacks. The injury list is ridiculous, yeah. but you keep finding ways to win and relying on the youngsters. That's a Jurgen Klopp speciality, that picking teams up during uh, setbacks. So what has his message been? His message to us, uh, that we have to stick together and that we, that we are all capable of doing special things if we if we are together and I think um, one of his speciali specialities is also like uh, giving us that belief that we can do it even though it's a tough time with a lot of injuries uh, really good players are injured who are really important for the team but still uh, yeah we, we we managed through through the situation and uh, that's obviously because of because of the players on the pitch, the players that come in, the manager and his staff and the fans obviously as well. Lots of injuries to deal with, but also lots of ambitions and objectives for the season, one of which is the league title. But that race is pretty tight. Yeah, what have you tight. made of, uh, yeah, of Manchester City and Arsenal? It's tight, obviously, two really good sides uh, as well. Um, but yeah, we are a good side as well. So. Um, yeah we, we just wa yeah, we just have to stay focused and try to keep winning all of our games. <laughs> and then uh, that's, that's the only thing we can do. And then to close off, your ideal picture at the end of the season. What is, what is that picture in your head? Um, the ideal picture is that we win all the trophies, obviously. And then uh, after the last game, we go and throw the manager in the air, you know, that like, but then with the tr trophies in front, yeah, it would be nice. And the parade? And the parade, obviously, after that, yes. Did, did you see the parade for the Champions League? I saw some, I saw some pictures and uh, videos, yes, it was amazing. Okay, I hope you get to feel that. I hope, I hope it as well. Thank you very much, Cody. Thank you all for watching, subscribe to the channel to not miss anything, leave your like and your comment, that is very important for the channel growth. Until the next video.